Okay, everybody let me know if you can hear me. Uh, this is a weird day. But I could say that about the whole month, actually. I could say that about the whole month. I didn't even check what happened yesterday afternoon. I think something happened, though. I don't know if it was news related or report or an economic data. Something happened that made the market fall. <coughs> I didn't go back and look, and I actually don't even really care. Uh, but the fact is the market did fall yesterday afternoon, and it did fall hard. Market was gapping up at one point this morning. Now this is really just neutral in the SPY and in the QQQs. This is a neutral gap here. We were gapping up slightly just about 15 minutes ago. No one's going to believe me, but I'm telling you, we're going to hold. <laughs> I'm just going to keep saying what I see. I mean, this, this, I can't tell you something that I don't have conviction in. And the one thing that I absolutely 100%, 1,000%, 1 million percent, 1 billion percent is that the market holds. So whether it drops today or not doesn't even really matter to me because I'm going to be looking to short, but market's going to hold. So let's look at I did not rate this, okay? This is very spready, very expensive. I'm just not doing this. This does not have enough volume. Some of these things today are not going to work, okay? There is things that are gapping down. Uh, some of them are not going to work, okay? I did rate, actually, more things today than I've rated in a while because there is so many things down. Okay, listen to what I'm saying. More of these things are not going to work than are going to work today to the downside. And I'm just saying that because I'm looking at the quality of the gap. This has nothing to do with the market. Zip to do with the market, okay? So I'm going with my instinct here and the rating. And I'm going to focus on QCOM, and I really don't want to watch anything else. And the reason is because this is going to take every ounce of concentration I have today. It is a weird day. Let's take a look at this. Really want to get something today, and I'm going to really work to do that. But I am only watching one thing here. Uh, you could watch this. And nothing can violate any of the numbers I put in the room. If it does, I really would wait for confirmation. The most likely thing the market does today is fall into the open, which will be good for us to get a quick short, and hold between 10 o'clock and 
if the market rallies first, it'll be shorted on a 15 minute chart between 9.45 and 10. It'll drop and fall red today and fall hard into lunch, possibly even into 1 o'clock. It still is going to close with a tail. The close of the day of the market today will be bullish. That's all that I know. That's all that I see. So, Well, I never anticipated this setting up this way when I called the market to do what it's going to do this year, which it still is. But this, now that I'm, every day when I see this and every look of this chart, and we'll go over this more later, is actually strengthening my conviction why the market's going to have the push it's going to have. People are shorting this market. They, this market is being shorted. It's not going anywhere. But I'm telling you, the shorts are heavily in here. The buyers are still supporting the market because they're the ones in control. But this is being heavily shorted, or all of these days wouldn't be transpiring like this. And there has been some selling, but not significant enough. But... I never anticipated it setting up this way to do what it's going to do, which, which it's still going to do. But that is what is going to manifest to see it do what I'm saying it's going to do because all the shorts are going to have to cover. And they will cover in a panic fashion because they're getting so much conviction now that the market is going to break and it's not. Still, it is not. Because once again, this is not panic. And this, this something happened here. I don't know what it was. I don't even care. And it was late. It all happened in one big fell swoop. That's how I know this was some kind of reactionary event. Shoo, right into 3 o'clock. <clears throat> Actually, it started back here, but really when it broke the low, it started around 2. And it was a reactionary event that fell into the close. So I, I don't know what that was, but that was a reactionary event. I can look it up later. Someone else can look it up for me. This is a monster target today, and that's not the reason I'm doing it. I'm going on instinct here, because I think QCOM works no matter what it does. I actually think if this rallies a lot, it still works. So I guess that's why I'm watching it. Because, by the way, everything should be is probably going to rally in here. Everything is going to rally in here. Everything this morning is going to rally in a setup, and don't even do Yahoo unless it rallies. Don't even do this. 13 million shares here falling into the closed markets. Anybody's guess into the open here? If you do this immediately or quickly in the first five minutes of the day, you're scalping it out and it flips. I would wait for the five-minute chart set up on Yahoo or wait for it to rally. And this really could go all the way up to 45 before it even sets up. Yahoo could set up on a 15-minute chart today as a short, and I just don't feel like dealing with that. This could fall out of the sky immediately. This could actually fall out of the sky immediately and not rally. Low odds that happens even here too, though, by the way. This is, has a lot of shorts in it here after these earnings call here this morning pre-market, and it's down a lot. I mean, it's down more than $4 or something. So this really could get a big push into the open too. Spread is not half bad here, though, on this problem. I've never traded that. All right, just give me a minute here to get organized. You better be uh, on your P's and Q's today. That's all I have to say. And I'm only watching one thing because it's going to take every ounce of brain energy I have. So I'll be right back. But this is the one for me today. If you like something else, do it. If you don't like the price point, there's nothing cheap today. Zip. All right. It'll be interesting to see how the day fares out. All I can say is that I know the market closes bullish today. Whether it's with a tail or a green body, the market will close today at 4 o'clock Eastern time in a bullish fashion. I'm like the only one in the world that's even saying that. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back.
Okay, does anyone have any questions before I get started here? <clears throat> Galahad, did you kill your QQQs long? Write it in the room and be honest. QCOM is the least readiest of the things today, to be honest with you. Galahad, I asked you a question. Jaguar Paw is answering. You're holding the position you have in the QQQs. All right, Jaguar Paw. Jaguar Paw took it, got out, profitable, and then retook it. Although I didn't tell you to retake it where you took it, but <clears throat> I think you said you did an option in it. Did you kill your QQQs overnight, or are you still in it, Galahad? And Jaguar Paul, what you did was okay because you got out of it profitable from the first one. But I don't understand why you did do it the second time, but still. Not of course, you've been in and out of this a lot of times. Uh, my suggestion to you is if you do get out of this here, that's, you're done with it. Don't, don't retake it again, all right? You've been in and out of it too many times. So I wanted to see if you were still in it. If you're still in it, that's fine. If you are kill it again without it violating the stop, you should really just not do it again. It's not good to keep doing things and killing them and doing them and killing them. If you're still in it, that's fine. It hasn't hit the stop. I would like an easy day. When are we going to get that? I guess we have that on Microsoft. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, the last day of the month. Very, very weird month. We're going to get an easy day tomorrow because we haven't really been having easy days here. Easy meaning just throws it in my lap. <laughs> this is not a throw it in my lap kind of day here with the QCOM, even though I like it. <laughs> I would like the market to just throw something right into my lap. Any questions from anyone about anything? That is what I do like about it, Dave. That is what I do like about it. And we'll talk about it when we're done. I don't want to teach right now. 10 cent spread is enough of a cushion in this. The call option you're in for the market is a long term. All right, that's fine then, Jaguar Paul. We'll go over this when we're done, Dave. You might sign out if you're not doing it. I know you sometimes do, but I just don't want to teach here. We're going to start in three minutes, but <sighs> that's the reason I'm picking this one over the rest. It'll be really interesting to see what the market does today. This is what makes a market. This is what makes a market. Let's see what's out tonight. Every, every I, we should almost not even look at what's out tonight. Let's let's just not because every day in the last two days, I've looked at what's out tonight or the night, and I'm like, oh, I love this one, and then it doesn't do it. Let's I, I'm just not, I, that's what I, I'm not even gonna go over the stuff for tonight so that we don't even that doesn't even happen because like I did that the last two nights and I'm like, oh, this, this is a fabulous one, and then it doesn't work. It ends up gapping up. So I'm going to like not look at anything that I want to gap down because every time I've done that in the last two days, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this thing. And then it gaps up. <laughs> so I'll just not even look at the stuff for tonight. And then we'll get out tomorrow morning. There'll be something perfect. <sighs> yeah, screw it. Dave's right. All right, what's the maximum resistance for QCOM? Right in the room, I wrote it down. You got to know this. What's the maximum resistance for QCOM? Anybody, did you write it or down or even pay attention to what I wrote? What's the maximum resistance for QCOM? You got to know it right now. What is it? No one cares. A little bit above that. Yes. 62.67 can't be the... 
resistance that's below the price. It has to be above the price for the maximum resistance. Okay, good. Everybody got it. Excellent. Jotho, you're so funny. I don't pay attention to any of that, but if it gives you conviction. Jotho is watching television. All right, now I saw a 12 cent. Don't be 16. Let's just see here. Love it if this hits 62, but let's not get away from ourselves, and we're not holding the whole trade down there anyways unless it falls in one minute. Here we go. Come on, QCOM. Oh, look at that spread. Just let this situate itself here. This is whippy. I, it's not going to be 50 cents. It's not going to be 30 cents. I just, just let this situate itself here into the open. The first bar of the day is going to probably have like a half a million shares. There'll be a million in this by 931. So just, it has 483 now. Just don't jump the gun on this. There's no way. 60 cents, I'm hoping. If I can get this with 60 cents, I'd jump up and down for a stop. Oh, you know what? We have to have a discussion on stops because I got a lot of questions about the webinar the other night, last night. Good luck, everyone. Have a good day today. I'm watching this and nothing else right now. If for some reason this doesn't set up right, I'll go look at something else. You can watch BABA if you want. Pretty much everything needs a rally. And Yahoo, I'd be shocked if that works, but good. It might. It could. Anything's possible. Anything's possible except for the spread's not going to be a penny. <laughs> that would be impossible. Okay. Mm -hmm. 65, 6. Look at this thing. Man, I have a good instinct. Boy, do I have a good instinct. QCOM, just relax. Just relax. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, let's look at the spread. I don't know what the stops in this is going to be. This is very gutsy, but 67 by 80, 67 by 80, you don't have to do this. This will probably have another entry, 67 by 80. And, and if you want to wait for another entry, I'll call it. This is very large, 67 by 80. And I, I'm really not taking this till it hits. And, and I think this will have another entry. You could do half size this if you want. I hope, it, I hope this actually doesn't hit here and gives us another entry, but it doesn't going to do it. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. This can't go over the high of the day. This can't go over the high of the day or we'll be off of it, so this is be easy. 85 by 80, 85 by 80, 85 by 80 QCOM, 85 by 80 QCOM. Can't look at anyone's questions right now. This is moving too fast. Oh my gosh, get the stop in right now, right now.
now. I knew it was going to hit hard. Oh my gosh, I almost took it at 90, but I didn't. I didn't. I didn't want to preempt it. You can take this right here, right here. I got it past 85, but there's nothing I could do. I almost thought to my, I, in one second, I thought to myself I was going to take it at 90 something, and then it hit. Make sure the stop's in. Make sure the stop's in. This is going to rock and roll. And we put the stop at the right place. And you know what? I almost was going to take it at 90 something. Hmm. All right. All right, let me just check the spread here. Yep, yeah, we're good. Uh, I, I just, for, I literally, in my mind, I thought I'm going to take it, and then it hit. But that's life. You can still do this here now. You can still take this right in here now and put the stop at 80. You still have a chance here now. You're going to get this at a better price than I just hit it at. Galahad, you have to resolve those problems, and you, they should be resolved way before 930. Like, way before 930. You roll out of bed in the morning, and you resolve that problem. And you're the only one that's having that problem, so I'm not sure why. I really don't know. 80, 80, 80, 80. 80 is the stop. And no ifs, ands, or buts. Even though right now it is not that spready, just make sure you have it there. And this was not going to be a small stop. Okay, man, this is going to really try to get me in again. I'm going to do something else here. 85 by 65, 85 by 65, 85 by 65 if you want to take more in here. 85 by 65, or if you didn't do it, 85 by 65, QCon. 85 by 65, if you want to take more or if you want to take it there, it's a better stop. I can't focus on anything what I'm doing right now. 85 by 65. My gosh, this is going to rock and roll. I'm going to take more when that hits. There, I'm taking more now. I just took more now. Get the stop in 65. Lower the whole thing to 65. Uh, <laughs> Here it goes. Here it goes. Man, this is a great call. Woo! <sighs> I knew this is going to do like this. You have to be in it if you want it. And that was better than the first one. Okay. All right, let me just look here at the market. What did Baba do? Baba, you could have done. Baba, you could have done if I had it, be all out. I would have been all out of this if I had done it. Wow, I would have been all out of that. Okay. Okay. Stop for everything in this is 65. Yeah. Surf dog, did you do Baba? I didn't call that, but you could have. You'd be all out of that. 100% be all out of that Baba. If you did that first aggressive trade in there, 100% be all out of that. Let me just look at Yahoo. Yahoo's holding 44. You could short Yahoo 34. Thirty-four by sixty Yahoo. Thirty-four by sixty Yahoo. Thirty-four by sixty Yahoo. Do I really want to do that too? Let me just put Yahoo up in here. Stay with QCOM. I'm staying with QCOM. You can do Yahoo. Thirty-four. Yahoo's hitting right now. Yahoo's hitting right now. You can do it. I was going to think about it, but I'm just staying with the QCOM. There you go. There's the Yahoo. There, there's Yahoo. The Yahoo's going. Yahoo's going and it held the resistance. Beautiful. There. I just call another thing. I'm staying with here. This QCOM is so good. Here. You could do this, though. This is a nice, nice, nice stop. Uh, I'm not going to be crazy today. It's just not a day for the craziness. Man, this is going to just plummet. Here it goes. QCOM. Beautiful. It's a great call. Oh my gosh, is this a great call? And I just called Yahoo. You could have done that one too. And here, look at this. Just let this rock and roll. Just push, 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 push. Just well, let this thing just fall off the planet. It's going to break 64 right in this first drop. 937. Yeah. Thank you, market. 
All right, here we go. Target is sixty-two dollars today in Qcom, and it will get there. But I'm not seeing a little trade to there. But I, here, half out of this if it breaks sixty-four, six-three, something, 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 something. Here it goes. Here, look at this beautiful selling action. Oh, man, that's what I'm talking about, people. I saw it. I saw it. I don't know the target on Yahoo. Write it back. I had it in the room. Whatever it is, I put it in the room. It's not massive. Here, this goes. This is. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Here, no talking. Hand on the button if it doesn't break 64. It's gonna. Don't you dare. You stinker. I'm a stud, period, but I'm a girl. Girls aren't studs. 6402, you could have gotten out of some of that there. Let's still have another breakdown. I just, I really thought it was just going to break down right in there. You stinker. Let's look at the market. Okay, so. Bob is setting up again, you could do it. Bob is setting up again, you could do it. Stop really needs to be over 90. It's a dollar. If you didn't do it, you didn't do it. Uh, Yahoo, you can still do this. This is crazy. Uh, what were the targets on Yahoo? 4250. 4250. 4250 is the target on Yahoo if you did it. Anyone that did it, 4250 is the target on Yahoo. I could have done both. I really could have done them both, and it doesn't matter. Uh, here we go. One more drop through Q come in here. We got a breakthrough. This is what I want to see. What I want to see is this get through 64 because then it's going to plummet. Plummet through the earth. So I did not get out of any there. And you could have. It was a valid, valid exit. It happened so fast in the pushback, and I would have just taken some of the teens if I thought this wasn't going to break, but I didn't. And here you're still in this. You could do whatever you want to do here now. This has huge, massive potential right now. I know what you mean, Patrick. <laughs> Call another trade in the cucumber. It sets up. You got out. There's, no gonna, there's not going to be any setup in here once this breaks 64. It's going to fall through the floor of the world. And I can't call kamikaze in this because it's too darn whippy. If I see it, I will. But I don't. Yahoo! Do the Yahoo surf dog. I just called that. Here it goes. Hand of the button here. For no here. I knew it. It's going to break 64. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Yes! Thank you! Here it is. Hand of the button for QCOM. Gorgeous trade. Time of the day is 9.40. I rock. Here we go. Here, I just took half out. I just took half out. Get the stop in for the rest. Get the stop in for the rest. Here, I'm not chancing it. I just took half out. Whew. All right. Man, was that a great second entry I told you to do. If you did the other, if you did that as a new one, that was so amazing. And I took more. All right. Here we go. Let's just figure out what we are doing now. Six, no, $62. All right, I got out of half of it. I got out of half of it, and let's just put the stop back in for the rest of where it needs to be. But if you really want to put it break even, you could. I don't think you should, but you could. Okay, here we go. The market, it's 941. Surf dog, you should have done the Yahoo if you didn't do this one. Here, beautiful trade. 42.50. 42.50. And if the market falls here into 10 o'clock, Yahoo could go to 42. I'm not saying it's going to. Look, this is a great call. Uh, just There's too many things going on. QCOM took my whole concentration of life. But if you didn't do the QCOM or you didn't like the price point, that this was a great entry. This was a great entry in this. This was 25 cents. Look at this. Rock and roll is going to go right to the first target, 42.50. Just put the number in there for this to bounce. But this could go to 42. All right, here we go. Come on, QCOM, just keep dropping all the way into 10 o'clock. You can do it. Where are we at? Baba, baba, baba. Again, you could have done this with a stop over 90. Let's look at the rest. Uh, nothing here. Glad we didn't do that. What happened to this one? Nothing here. Glad we didn't do that. This is wackadoo. Uh, Microsoft's probably falling today because of the market. No, not really. Uh, what was the other one? Shoot. CLB. Nope, nothing there. And I thought there was another one. Oh, let's look at what the strong ones are doing. 
Ooh, look at this. Oh my gosh, you go long this. You go long this EA. I put this top under 54. It's a dollar. It's a dollar. It's a dollar. You can put this top at 53.90 and go long this stock here. It's rallying here in a continuation gap with the market falling. But I think the market holds today. Look at look at this. Look at this. This is getting bought. Here, I put this in the room as a continuation gap. I didn't call this right in here now because they're just I didn't have time. But this is this $60. And I'm not saying it gets there today. 58. 57, 57, 58, 60. That's all the targets in this. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Thanks, Kildon and QCOM and Yahoo. Okay, you did them both, Patrick. Okay. If I see another entry here for Surf Dog on the QCOM, I'll call it, but I think this thing is just going to keep coming down into 945 ish and possibly 10. We'll just see where this goes here next. I put the targets in the room, you got to go up. Yahoo 4250, 42. Dream target 41, it's not going to get there without the market. You got to be out of half of this uh, QCOM here. Don't sit through a rally in this back up in the 50s. Yahoo's dropped 70 cents for my call. Did you do it, Lineage? I know, I should have done them both. Look here, this is right getting at the first target. Yahoo 4250, out of reversal time. Yahoo 4250, here, don't, here, this is the eight, half the exit on this. This is the first exit on Yahoo. Out, 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 half of this. Right in here, it's going to bounce. I'm telling you, the time of the day and everything else, and I gave you the numbers. If this, this is going to set up again. This is going to set up again, 100%, I know it. So just relax. And what was the other one? Yeah, this is just going, and the only way Baba continues is if the market continues, and the target for the market, the first target's 100, but we'll see here, and then, oh, why didn't I do them both? <laughs> really just, I just wanted to 100% be focused on this today, and I was. Gorgeous, though. Beautiful. So glad that I did the ad. Okay, this might have another entry. Yahoo definitely will. Yep, look at that. I mean, it's just like, seriously? I said the first target's 42.50. It just bounced off to 42.51. I can't make this stuff up if I tried. It's so perfect. You gotta write those numbers down I have in the room in the morning. You got to write them down. Man, this was not easy today. We're going to go over this. I just nailed it, though. That second entry was really good, too. First green bar in the five-minute queue come. I don't have a green bar. I have a taily guy. I have a taily person. I don't have anything green. It's going to do a sandwich here in the two-minute. I'm going to call Kamikaze for Surf Dog, although I would never do this in the stock. 90... 90 by 35, 45 cents to see if it drops right on down to 63. There you go. And I'm not saying this is going to sit up here. I don't know. Dave, did you do it? It was amazing. Did you do it, Dave? I know you were like right on the cusp. Should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? Great to see the red. Love to see the red. Love the Drake. <laughs> Sanford is in here, likes the Seinfeld. Love the Drake. All right, here we go. The spy is coming down to the number. The cues are coming down to the number, but they're nowhere near it. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. 62 today in QCOM. Just go right there, and let's go back to bed. Look at this. This is, is going to drop another dollar right from here. Man, what a nice call. 62.50. 62.50. 62.50, but 62 is a number. <laughs> You people that don't have your names in yet, you got you got till Monday. Monday you gotta come in here with a surname or a name handle. And if you don't know what to do, you can email me over the weekend. Look at this new low of the day here in QCOM. Just spot on. Here it goes. Nice. Here it is, under 80, new low in QCOM, and I'm still in half this trade. This is fantastic. Thank you, Market, because this day was like really just, I said it was weird. It was like, wee. 
Yeah, Dave, you can sign in with your new name tomorrow. Yep, that's fine, Patrick. Tickman is good. Shower singer? <laughs> I did not even know who that was. And the person told me last night, which was I was rolling because I didn't know who it was. I thought it was somebody else. Did I see the invisible spike? No, I didn't. Did anyone else see an invisible tick? Because I didn't see it. I didn't see it at all. How do you change it? You go up to change my nickname. Just type it in the room. Oh, my goodness. This is really actually going to. No, it didn't. It broke it. Cruiser has the invisible tick. I don't have the invisible tick. Jaffo doesn't have the invisible tick, but two people do, Cruiser and Lawrence. 6550. Brett has an invisible tick. Actually, the invisible tick is good if it went to 6550. Actually, remember how the invisible tick works? Here's the market. When's the next report? Let's look at Yahoo. No, oh, this is just going right on over. Sorry, people, you had to do the entry it gave you. It's going to get to 42. In fact, I just stay in this till 10 o'clock, wherever you can take it. Great calls today. I really should have just done everything in the world. But it's only so much time in the morning. <laughs> Look at this. Here, is anyone getting this? Superb. Great train. Trader Gal, did you do this? If you didn't do the QCOM, anyone here? See if it breaks 42. Look, look at this. If it doesn't break 42, though, this, get out. Look, oh my gosh. <gasps> wow, look at that. Man, that's it. Out, 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 out of it. Yahoo, nice train. Beautiful. Yahoo sent $1.35 from Rand Street. I know. Did anybody do it? Yahoo Driving Man so amazing. Kicking yourself for not joining two years ago, but you're here now. I know. In the present and moving forward from the past mistakes and your other trading methods. Exactly, Patrick. So don't worry about it. You're here now. That's all that matters. At least you're doing it. There's some people that didn't even do my class that are watching my stuff for two years or more that can't make up their mind. And they're going to miss the chance. They're going to miss a chance to even take my class. So at least you did it. At least you're here. At least you had the wherewithal to know to do it. And you could be out of this whole cucumber here. I'm not taking a lot of it. But you could because of the time of the day. At least you didn't give up. Exactly. Dave's giving Patrick some credit. Pass is water under the bridge. You have to push the button in the end to make the trade. Well, obviously. <laughs> but I'm saying people think for years and years and years about doing my class. It's like crazy. All right, Yahoo's terrific. Beautiful. Man, that was, I was actually more than that. I said 34. That's a dollar fifty. That was a dollar fifty. Trader girl, did you do this? Trader gal. This is your kind of call here. Not expensive, tight stop. You did it. Good. You're all out of Yahoo. Have to go out of time for the weekend. See you Monday. Okay, great. Have a wonderful weekend. Beautiful. You're welcome. Trader Girl said thank you. She's got her name. Baba did work too. Baba, I said, we, we, we could have done a lot. Baba had a big stop, although I think the risk to reward was here too. This is, what did I get for the target for Baba today? Wow, this is past it. 88, it's past it. Dream target in play here now for Baba. 85 is the next dream target here for Baba if the market keeps rolling over. And the QQQs are going to try to break 100. Where are we going here with the QCOM? All right, so I'm still in half in this. If you have to get going, you have to go somewhere, wait for the weekend, whatever. You could take the whole QCOM out. Great, great, great morning. Great morning if you did my calls. Fantastic. Time of the day is 9.52. Let me just look here at the market.
market keeps running right past 10, it's going to keep going into lunch. We're still should close bullish today. Let's see what happens here. But then this might be the low of the day in Yahoo. I mean, this 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 thing just went. It might, that might be the low of the day, because I'm not sure what the market does here at 10 o'clock. We'll have to watch some of these numbers. But did anybody do them both? Did anybody hit them both at the perfect perfect entries? If the market continues red here into lunch, you know you could replace some of these things. Or hold Q come down to the bigger number or replay some of these things as well. WW did all three. Man, that was a lot to manage, WW. And WW never liked a short before he met me, which was only like three weeks ago. So that's really funny. Now he's shorting everything in the world. He can't short enough. Out Yahoo at 42, 51. Yeah, that, that's what, that was really, that was the exit. Like right there. Elevator down is so much easier. I agree. Here we go. Cucumb looking lovely. Time of the day here is rallied up. Now it's looking to break down here at 10 o'clock. Do I think there's another entry in Cucumb? <sighs> oh, 09 by 60 right here if you want it on the two minute. Kind of aggressive. Oh, 09 by 60 it just hit. Oh, 09 by 60. There it is. 50 cents. Here, 50 cents on QCOM, 60, 60 cents here now. You could, you could, here. I just barely had time to call it in and hit. I'm sorry, but I called it as soon as I saw it. <laughs> it's 70 cents now. Uh, here's the QCOM. You're going to hold QCOM to 62.50. If you're walking away, be careful or trail it down or make sure your stop is in or put the order out to fill you. You really could have almost done that with Yahoo, and you almost should put it a couple pennies above because you see how that Yahoo just touched on it by one penny and then bounced. Lawrence, I just gave the other entry here. I don't know if you got it in time. It literally, I saw it here. Five minutes. Five minutes. Here, this is just here. This is here. Obviously, I'm still in half this. Here we go. You low of the day in QCon. Time of the day is good. 9:55. Let's look at the market here. Here, now let's not look at the market. Let's just get this down into 63. Anywhere in the teens, the 20s, anywhere in a 63. This is a great trade. I should just. I should still be in this whole thing. I don't even know why I got have anything. You people are so funny. You're like green and you panic. You're like, oh, green. <laughs> Market's going to try to hold here at 10 o'clock reversal time. It would be the soonest, quickest, fastest possible place for the market to hold. Very interesting. And QCOM just did not break a new low. I thought it did. Here's what I'm going to have to do because of the market and because it didn't break a new low. We're going to have to lower the stop in this. So I'm putting it at 64.65 for QCOM. That's what we got to do. I think it still continues, but I have to lower it now. And I'll be getting out of that positive. So 64.65 QCOM, that's what you got to do here because I'm seeing the market. And I'm not saying the market is done for the day. I'm just saying. That just did not break a new low. And I'm seeing the market here making an attempt to hold at 10. And I don't know if it does or not. I guess we'll see. All I know is that we closed bullish today. That's all I know. Yahoo is a ticket. Kamikaze and Yahoo. Market's got to continue breaking. Under 42 stops 50. 50 cents. Are you just short in here the one in the two minute? But I'm really not sure if this breaks a new low. I would wait for the sandwich on the five. If you want to redo this, stops 50 cents. Really doesn't have any risk to reward. That's it for Yahoo. That's it for Yahoo here. Here, QCOM, come on. Let's get going. I want to be out of this soon now. I just decided. Market, is anybody's guess here now into 10 o'clock? Anyone's guess in the world? Uh, but that could be it. That could be it. And this has to continue down here. And if it's not, I'm out. And this is a fully 100% worth it holding because of the fact here that the target was so massive. $2 from here, it could still drop. So again, I told you, you could have been out of summit back in there at 945. You could have been out of the whole thing. 
You really, really have got to try to get these ones down to bigger numbers with at least a piece of the position, whether it's a half, a third, a quarter, whatever. And if you can't stomach that or handle it, then you should have got all out. Brett, where did you get out of this today? Dave got all out? All right. Jaguar Pardo, you come out with profits. Thank you. Your broker's firm was having issues, okay, but you did it anyways. Obviously, then the issues got solved. Jaguar Par, were you able to take the trade or not? It looks like you were able to take it. No, I don't think it's good to walk away from the terminal either, Dave. Jaguar Par, did you do the trade or not? Brett got out at 17 when it didn't break 64. Here. Brett, you are so predictable. It's like so predictable. <laughs> This was still a good move for you, though. Yeah, it was a good move. You were able to take the trade, Jaguar Paw. All right, well, that's good. Again, remember, always check your platform in the morning before 930. If you're having a problem with something, fix it before the open. And just to review here, we lowered the stop in this. I'm glad you were able to take the train, Jaguar Paw. Well, I'll check into that later, Galahad, and find out what the story is. Let's just take a look here. No, I'm not going to take on a nickname as of now because I'm going to be need to be known as the Stock Swoosh or Melissa Armo, either one. Perhaps I will take on another name, but I can't come up with one that suits me well enough. I've been tossing them around. And I am the Stock Swoosh, so I could just call myself the Stock Swoosh, which is my brand. But there's a reason that I've asked that of you. All will be revealed in good time. And by the way, you're all going to be happy. Trader Gal signed out already because she was like, oh, I don't want to use a fake name. But actually, everyone that's here that decides to stay here, which just things, things are going to be changing, but it's all good. Your people are going to be happy. Not that you're not happy now. <laughs> not that you're not happy now, but as fun as the room is, it's even going to be more fun, if that's even possible. It's going to be even more fun to be here, as if that's even possible. If, you, if I did take on a nickname, what would you people nickname me? What would you people nickname me? Roberta would like to take on the name Catwoman. Yeah, that's what Roberta is, basically. So, I mean, if I could name all of you, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> Roberta is the Catwoman. That was, like, an easy one. Um, and actually, Lawrence, you could be Mr. Mom. Lawrence has, like, 25 kids. Lawrence could be Mr. Mom. That's, that's, that's one you could be, Lawrence. I actually really like that. It's really cute. Because you are Mr. Mom. Uh, think of a trader name for you, Brett. Oh my gosh, it has to do something. Sugar Mama is so not me, Shower Singer. <laughs> Shower Singer said Sugar Mama. Oh my gosh, I don't want to take on that connotation. Conviction Girl is good, but not catchy. Too many syllables. Genius Trader, that I like, might be too long as well. Swoosh Queen. Short queen. I am the short queen. Are we trading naked now? Who? No, we have to stop it in this. 
Oh, you mean going forward? No, no, we're not doing that. Since nine since nine fifty seven, the buyers have not been able to push up despite the downward trend. Do you view this is a good sign of a big drop soon. Are you talking about QCOM? Oh, to make the room more fun, but we can't see each other, Lawrence. So then, how do you, you know? Mr. Mom is great for him. Roberta confirms it's a go, Lawrence. You go up to the top, it says change my nickname. Roberta can type in Catwoman. You can do it right now, but you're going to have to log out, log in for it to see it, for me to see it. But you could change it, then tomorrow when you log in, it'll be there. And Lawrence really is a good one for Mr. Mom. So I lowered the stop on this. It's boom or bust for the QCOM, just so you know. Mr. Mom is a guy. It's a Mr. Lawrence. <laughs> Lawrence is like I've been emasculated. That was a great movie. Everyone loved Mr. Mom. Uh, I have to think of a trader name for Brett. Something to do with holding things or taking things out quickly. Hmm. Like sprinter or something like that. Like somebody that only does something in a short time, like sprinter. Something like that. Somebody that's quick, quick, quick in and out of things fast. Speed demon, sprinter, something like that. Skittish. <laughs> Cruiser says skittish. <laughs> Flash. Gap guru for you, girl. That's another one. But people don't know what gaps are. That's the problem. People know what the stock market is. Tony wants to be Obi-Wan. That's okay. It just can't be the whole thing, Obi-Wan Kenobi, because it'll be too long, too uh, much a thing. In fact, I, I should probably, I have to Google that. I, I have to just double check that, Tony. <laughs> I'll double check it. Oh, that's a good one. O-B-I-W-O-N. Is that a different spelling then? How about this? Obi number one, like this. Something like that. Or Obi one. There, that's better. Your scripture's vote is for short clean for me. Explains itself. Self-explanatory. This is holding, by the way. This is holding the lowered stop and looks good to set up again in the five minute. But I do call longs. And actually, yesterday, after the EAA, I sat here all afternoon and looked at myself and said, what? And, you know, I really, really, really have to focus more on the days when there isn't a good short for, for, for those good bullish gaps. I mean, I have to force myself to do it. I really do prefer to short though, but I can, I mean, I said that EA yesterday morning. I said it so casually, but I knew it. And it's like, you know, it even had a better entry a couple of different times and it just flew to the dream target. I, I'm going to have to force myself to do more longs this year, which I'm already aware of. But I mean, you know, I was really, really something yesterday and it's still working today crazy. Where did it go yesterday, actually? 50, 55, 17. Swoosh queen is better than short queen. Do you think it's too, uh, what's the word, to call myself a queen? Snobby. Baba looks like it's done. Yahoo is done if the market is done. And that could be the low of the day in the market. Wow, let's just see where the number was. Basically 100. Uh, 
I have to think about it. I am the queen. I'm the queen of the swish. Yeah, the stock swish. Gap queen, gap guru, gap girl. I'm not going to call the market long here, but I did say the market would close strong today, and I don't know if it's low today or not, but it very well might be. 10.07, bouncing here at the very least amount of time of the day the market could bounce. <laughs> Let's see who else needs a name in here. Tracy. And Brett, we gave you a couple ideas. Something to do with quick or fast or something. Patrick's got his ready for tomorrow. Dr. John, I gave him his name. I emailed it on the email. Dave B, you need one too. Whirl Girl. <laughs> Tracy can't think of anything. Let's find one for her. Gap Girl does not quite meet the level that I'm at. That's true. Let's think of one for Tracy. Do you want to be anonymous as a woman or not, Tracy? Which is funny because some people have picked names that are anonymous for their sex. So which do you prefer? Oh, that's a good one. Lawrence has one for you, Brett. Vertigo, because you're reluctant to jump off the red cliffs. That's actually good. Gap Lady. Tracy doesn't care if she's a girl or a guy, or if she's known as, if people can't tell. All right, let's think then. Of course I like Surf Dog. Surf Dog is a great name. <coughs> okay, so Trader Gal is taken. Already, that's out. You like Short Queen and Gap Guru. Is Jaguar Par too long? No, it's just, it's right there though. It has to be something that I can just say quickly. Jaguar Paw. Like, that's okay. If it's, it's, it's right there, though. No, no, JP isn't descriptive enough. I want descriptive names. I want descriptive names. In fact, WW, I'd like you to come up with something more creative. But, you know, if you can't, you can't. I want something creative. There's a reason for that. You people have good brains. Creamy. Play caller. So I'm just I'm just thinking of ones here. Let's just think of ones for Tracy, and I'm just saying different things that are gonna have girl in it, like Doji Girl, or Candle Girl, or. Uh, Bearish girl, short girl. Doji gal. Something catchy that has to do with trading and being a woman. Bungee girl. <laughs> what does that have to do with trading? Don't think it's going to break 6440. It's going to go lower. If you don't think it will, then you don't have to be in this anymore. You could kill it. For me, Cruz was saying I could be called the maestro because I conduct the room. Yes, I conduct you all in a queenly like fashion. Doji gal sounds good. Tracy likes it. I like it too. It's catchy, it's quick and catchy. Trade queen, dream queen. These are all good ones for me, you people are thinking of. Gapper girl. 
jumping off the gap. George H. doesn't have a name yet. He needs one too. All right, so if you don't want to be in this anymore, you could take it off. You're profitable. If you want to still be in this, you lower the stop. And if you get out stopped out there, you're profitable. If this goes on to set up on the 5 or the 15-minute chart, it will break a new low into 10.15, 10.30, 10.45 reversal time. And the one thing that I do like about QCOM is that I think no matter what the market does here, QCOM does continue lower. So I think that QCOM is on its own. It has nothing to do with the market. That wasn't a number I had written down. And so I'm not overly concerned about it. Could this be the lower of the day of the market? Yes. Why? Basically came down 100 and bounced at a reversal time. Similar thing here in the SPY, though. I will say the SPY looks weaker than the QQQs today and has actually the last two months or so. My Lanta is something that I'm going to have to write a def definition for in the dictionary as well. Uh, Yahoo! I really don't know if you want to do this again, but you could. Yahoo could set up here again. 44, stop could be 80. 44 by 80 if you want to take one more drop down of Yahoo if you really think it's going some crazy, crazy number, which would have to break 4180 now. <laughs> Line 38, okay. Is that, you mean, is that your name, WW? Line 38? Qcom! Jaffo, did you kill it? Who killed QCOM? If you had to go, you had to go. Lineage, did you kill it? Lineage, you, oh, you were the one that was talking about, oh, both you and Jaffo are talking about, oh my gosh, a green, a green, a green, a green, a green. Line 38 is fine with me. Can't tell if that's a girl or a guy either. <laughs> Wow, look at this. So the 15 minute on this is actually under 98. Let's see what it does. So we're not going to look at the list for tomorrow. We're not going to do that tonight. Because the last two nights we did, and I saw ones I liked that ended up gapping up. And they weren't good longs. Amazing how the prices change at the times I told you. Yeah, that is genius. Yeah, but it's very, very real. It's so real that, you know, it's so obvious. This is all the stuff that I figured out from trading day after 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 day. After day. So... QCOM was a great call here today. Some of you did this. Some of you did Yahoo. Did anybody? Oh, did. That's right. WW did the BABA too. Is WW the only one that did the BABA as well? Was WW the only one that did BABA too? You're going to have to be patient with this now till, till for another half an hour or something until it sets up in the 15 minute. And if Yahoo doesn't break down right in here, Yahoo is done for the day. So it's trying to set up here. It did set up in the five. But if this does not continue in here, Yahoo's really done for the day. And that was a great trade. One of the most challenging things about trading, and even more so for someone that's running a live room like me, or as have people following them, is to stay true to your own conviction. I think a lot of people don't understand what conviction is, and the ones that do have trouble holding that conviction in the face of something like this. Let's just talk about the market here. Can somebody tell me if whatchamacallit does something crazy like falls off the planet, the QCon. So every day I get up and I look at this here, and we've had a lot of red days. In the last month, from really December through the entire month of January, there's all kinds of things, I'm, all kinds of emails I'm getting, all kinds of everything in the world uh, uh, seen on the Internet about the market. And yet I keep holding my conviction for the fact that the market is holding the uptrend and is still higher this year for 2015. And it's not doing anything wrong. But this is one of the things that's challenging for people to... Hold the conviction. This doesn't mean that you don't change 
what you see if you see something that is incorrect, meaning like if I would get up in the morning and say, wait a minute, this market really is not higher, which I'm not saying, then I would see it and I would see it in a gap, okay? I would see it in a bearish gap or possibly a bullish gap failure, but it really would need to be in a bearish gap. And the thing is that every time I see a bearish gap in the market, I, I, I look at it and I just don't see it really going anywhere. This morning I talked about this briefly and I said I am really never thought the market would be setting up the way that it is now to do what it's going to do this year. But actually now that I see what is transpiring here, it confirms the fact that the market, when it makes the push, will, it will be a big one because there's so many people that are convinced now the market is lower. There's been a lot of red days in the market in the last two months. Way more red days than green days. Okay. But the market has held at every point that it's needed to and has never invalidated the most least level of support. Even if the market had invalidated the most least level of support in the QQQs, would it still be over for that? No, there were several levels of support that I had listed. But it has not even invalidated the least level of support. So it's not doing anything wrong. But there are people that are shorting the market. There are people actually in options for the market to break. Jaguar paused in one for the market to go higher. Which I'm guessing probably paid pretty well or will pay pretty well Jaguar Paw because most people are doing options for the market to go lower at this point. And also people are shorting this market and the scaredy cats are selling out of it as well. But this is what separates the professionals from the non-professionals. This is what separates the winners from the losers. It's people that know what they are doing and hold the conviction and yet can still change their mind in real life time if something is off and say, wow, this happened now, it's not higher anymore, or it's lower, or whatever the case may be. Sometimes I say that in a live gap trade when we see one, and I figure everything out, and then I see it open, and we don't do it. So that's the mark of a professional, someone that can hold the conviction but release it just as quickly once you see the price action change, which price action can change in a millisecond. It really can change that quickly, but that nothing is happening with that now, okay? But I'm saying, you know, this is the challenge of being a professional is to hold that conviction in the face of everyone in the world questioning you. You need to know what conviction feels like, and you need to hold it. But you also need to be flexible enough to, to change your opinion on the trend or the position that you hold or we're going to take if it does something that tells you it's wrong. You can't be so stuck on it, so stubborn that you're not willing to change. And actually that's what's kind of going to set up here again in the market, which is when the market makes a new high, all the people that are convinced the market's going to crash are going to be very stubborn when it lifts over 106.25, makes a push and a rally over there, then people are going to still say it's going to crash at the, this next level, then they'll say. And then they'll go back and short the market again. Because remember, I told you, people aren't going to give up on the shorts until like the fall of this year. But that's stubborn because once the market goes over the high, I mean, how could you possibly say it's going to crash? People will say that it's extended, extended. All this transpiring here is actually wiping out any chance of that, although it didn't need to do this. It didn't need to do this because of this drop off that happened in here. But this is taking away any, there's, there never, the market was never extended. There's, this market was never extended. Not ever, not this year, not last year, not the year before. Not that that's a reason for anything, but I'm just saying that's what people were looking at. It's one of the justifications people were saying that they thought the market was going to crash, that it was extended. It's not, it's never been, it hasn't been. Have a good day, Sonia. Princess Profit, I got to start writing these down. Isn't it a question what time frame you expect an item to move in? 
I don't know what you're talking about. As a day trade, we trade on the one minute chart, but we're looking at the daily. You, everything's the same. Whether you look at it, everything's the same. So I don't really know what your question is. I'm confused by your question. I'm looking at the same thing here, trading. Whether I look at it on the daily, the weekly, the monthly, the two minute, the one minute, the five minute, everything I'm looking at is the same. So I'm not sure at your question. This is the same stock or the market. Same price no matter what time frame I'm trading in. Traded DWA last Friday, made one and a half hours on it by yourself, doing my system. That'll help your confidence and conviction a lot. All right, let's give Brett a hand. Good job, Brett. If you can do that on your own, I don't know why you can't take the calls that I'm giving and take them and hold them with me. If you can do something like that on your own, why can't you just do what I do and hold it with me? Think about that over the weekend. You, you are holding longer? Okay, good. This is, this is really good here. Uh, your question, at what point would you change your opinion of the market corrects to what level? It's so far away that it's not even worth looking at. Here, look at QCOM. It's so unrealistic, Dave B, for what the market we need to do that it's not even worth looking at. It's so inconceivable. Although I did put in the letter, I put in the letter in December, barring world calamities and world wars. I, sh I shouldn't say inconceivable. Barring all world calamities and world wars, the market will be strong the entire year of 2015. I cannot predict a world calamity or a world war. Very much like an oracle, but I cannot predict that. So barring any world calamities or world wars, the market will be bullish this year. It is so far not even worth looking at. It is so ridiculous that it's inconceivable, which is why I'm saying that it's so ridiculous people are shorting the market. <laughs> like, it is so inconceivable that it's not going to happen, or I would never be saying that the opposite is going to happen so aggressively. Like, this is, a, this is, this is you know, for me to say that the SPY is going to run 100 points this year higher when we fall on the entire first month of the year and all of December, and I'm the only one saying that, I must have a high level of conviction. But for this market to go into a downtrend is so nowhere, it's inconceivable at this point unless a world calamity happens, which could happen. I mean, it could happen. So I'm putting out there that there's a 0.000000% chance that a world calamity or major world war could happen that would change everything that is right now happening in the market, that the market could break. I cannot predict those types of things. The Oracle Cream. Spy Girl. <laughs> Lawrence. I could look at that. Actually, next time I do the trends class, I do have the QQQ in the trends class. I, I'll look at that the next time I do the trends class. I update those charts and I'm not doing that ahead of time because it's not for another month. But in a month from now, before I teach the trends class in the end of February, I will update the QQQs and tell you what it needs to do. But it is just inconceivable at this point. Unless a war calamity happens. This looks great. And if you killed it, you killed it. If you had to go somewhere, you had to go somewhere. I lowered the stop. That was the right thing to do. And this looks fine. Either way, Dave B, who is asking me about what the market needs to do if it is going to break. Either way, you don't need to concern yourself with that. All you do is read in the live moment if you're a day trader. And if you're not, if you're even doing overnights, all you need to do is read in the live moment. Why? Because this idea of guessing that something's going to happen before it does is not a professional way to look at things. And yet, that's what people are doing that are shorting the market. I'm not guessing that the market's going to go to 300 in the spot. I'm predicting it, and it's accurate. I'm predicting it based on everything I'm reading in real life time now, whereas people are guessing. They are literally guessing that the market's going to crash. That's a guess, okay, based on no factual data. 
actually have factual data that is real information that's there that I was making me say what the market's doing. So I'm predicting certain targets, but I'm saying definitively the market's still in an uptrend. Right now, today at 1027 on January 29th, despite the fall off that the market has had for the last two months, the market is still in an uptrend. I'm not guessing this. I'm not predicting this. I'm telling you the market is in an uptrend. It is, and that is it. This has never done anything wrong. It has held the least level of support. That probably is a low of the day in the market today. And I did say the market would close bullish today, and it is going to. Market could even flip and go green today. But anyways, I'm not guessing. I'm predicting targets, but I'm not predicting the trend. I'm telling you the market's in an uptrend. I'm predicting targets. I'm not predicting the trend. I'm telling you the market's in an uptrend right now, and it has never broken it. So people that are guessing that the market is going to fall off a planet are guessing because the market hasn't done anything weak here and nothing bearish. Okay. Now it is true that some people actually have no idea how to read a trend and they look at moving averages and pivot lower lows and lower highs and that's how they read trends. That's not the right way to read a trend. It's wrong if it was and no one would ever get a directional bias wrong in anything. If the right way to read a trend was looking at the sloping moving averages or the lower lows and lower highs, no one would ever take a position in a short that would fail. Every time somebody would see something, they'd short it then and say it's in a downtrend. And that isn't true. And you know that from trading. And anyone does if you trade it for more than 30 days. It's not the right way to read trends. Although that is how most places teach. It is not complete. It is not enough information. It is not advanced enough. It is not enough information. It has nothing to do about fundamentals. It has to do with the read of the price. And look at this market. Just so strong. Qcom hit 98. Okay. If it breaks 98, you're off to the races. Okay. <laughs> Spy Girl is good and also easy to say and relevant to trading. True. Everybody likes Spy Girl. I'm always calling the market. It's my signature thing. Is it my signature thing? What is my signature thing? <laughs> One of them. One of these days in here, we'll have to have a powwow, and I we're going to write down all the things because I do have to write like a dictionary of terminologies. And I'm going to I want to just I just want to go over the powwow here. We'll write all the words down, and then I'll define them because I think that's something that we need to do. <laughs> My Lanta. Well, that's the word. Squealing rather suggestively when you're hitting a great trade. Yes. I think I did that today. But this was really, I mean, to be able to nail this today the way I did. I saw it on the open. 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 So good at reading live price. And Dave signed out. But let's go over QCOM. One of the reasons this works so well and so smooth this morning is a nice selling action and there were a lot of people shorting this. This was a tough one to short here for day traders. A lot of people just wouldn't have the mojo to do this. This was down huge, massive, down so much, down a lot. Market was down. Huge, massive sell-off from yesterday. This the Day traders weren't shorting this. That's why we had the nice smooth selling action, barely any push-up against us. There were some people in this pre-market, but for all intents and purposes, and not a lot of day traders did this today, and we got lucky, and that's what makes a nice smooth rides for us. And we had it here in this QCOM. It was a nice trade. A lot of day traders wouldn't have the mojo to do it or call it or know how to take it or would look to buy it to fill the gap. The stock gap down big, and it also ran hard yesterday. And the market was down too, but it was a good short. 
Dave signed out. I'm not sure why he didn't like this, but the best thing about this, the most perfect thing about this, the most beautiful thing about this was the fact that I like the daily chart. And that's why my instinct said QCOM, QCOM, QCOM. But I did rate actually four things today. And actually of the four I rated, the one was stinky poo, not even close and nobody did it and it didn't even work. The other three I rated all worked and WW did them all. But my instinct said this, and, and, and I did see the big target in this. I did see the big target in this, and it could still get there. And obviously, I, uh, I have conviction to still get somewhere going here. I would be out, but I'm protected, and I can't lose in this now because I lowered the stop, and I still think it goes. But this is a long time for me to be in a trade. But does everyone see here why this was so good? Here it goes. It's trying to break 64 again. Line is reporting out 63.98. You could short this again here if you want. You actually could do this again here if you want. You could do this. It's not too late. It's a target's two dollars away. I put the stop at 64.60, 64.65. I don't think it matters. Hold on. It's gonna hit in the 30 minute at 97, and that should be the hourly too. No, a little bit below. All right, Cruiser. Sometimes it's good practice to do stocks like this at expensive price points. Oh, I know what I was going to say. I know I was going to say one more thing. I'll let everybody go. Someone was asking the webinar last night about stops. They were saying, it was like they almost didn't even believe me that I use tight stops or that you can even use tight stops. I'm going to have to do a whole webinar on that because the reality is that this here, does everyone see? There is no way, no way you would want to be in this if this had gotten over here. Like, no way. So you're not, you're not, not tight. You are tight, and you must have a stop in. It's not imaginary. It's real, and that's it. Does everyone see here why you, you don't want to be in this? This isn't about getting the right risk reward, although you want the right risk reward. It's, it's about accuracy. This is like, I do not want to be in this. And actually, I said this. I said this here. If this goes over the high of the day, we don't want to be in it. And then I called it again for the ad. But do you see here, you don't, you don't want to be in this. Look at this. It closed last night at 71.01. It closed last night at 71.01. You don't want to be in this if it goes over here. You want to be out. Giving it more room will not increase your level of accuracy. Does everyone understand that? It's almost like people that day trade are so, are so anti-stops now. They don't even believe in a stop or that you can't even conceivably figure out where to put the stop or that you shouldn't even use a stop. And that's so, so wrong. You have no uh, money management if you don't use a stop. None whatsoever. Because the chances of you killing it or pressing the button fast enough are slim to none. And even if you do it one every, even if you do it at four every five trades, the one you don't, you get creamed on. So you must put the stop in. And this is just gap, gap trading. This is just regular trading too, because things can move against you fast at 11 o'clock, just as well as they can at 9.35. But I don't want to be in this. Now, this is screwed up here. This didn't close like this. This is just from whatever the gap. But you, you don't want to be in it. You've got to know where the stop needs to be, and it must be in. People have lost conviction in using stops, and it's dangerous. Those people will never be successful. Their money management probably is horrendous. I don't think they're probably not. I'm sure they're losing. You, you can't make any money trading like that. And not only that, you don't give something more room, thinking that if you give it more room, it has a better chance of working. No, you rate the gap. If the gap rates 20 points or more, and it sets up, you do it. That's it. it is not, it's not if you give it more room that it increases the odds of the gap working. It has nothing to do with anything. Here this goes. It's going to break 64. Lawrence or Lineage, whoever send that is going to get their dream. You could you could take more of this right in here. Be, you could add back half this right in here. This is actually, this is through your price. You would be lowering your price point. And if you put the stop in, then you'd probably get out break even or maybe down a little bit from the first drop off. But I'm telling you right now, this is looks amazing. I wouldn't be in it. Okay, Roberta, change your name and the nickname at the top. We'll see you tomorrow morning as Catwoman. Anyways, no matter what trading you do, you have to use the correct stop. Some days you can call it tight and call it not tight. You know, I have an idea usually what I think it's going to be. Is it always what I think? No. 
No, but I have to use what it is what it is. And if you are if you are squish it or if you're tighter than me or you lower it, then then that's on you. Here this goes. But I'm really just shocked and amazed. Like people actually don't even believe in stops. And actually, someone asked, do I get stopped out a lot? I can't remember the last time I got stopped out of something that went on to work without me. I, it hasn't happened for six months. It might be a year. I'm doing a great job telling us where to put the stops. That's not to say that the ones that don't work. I'm talking about ones that work. Lawrence is lingering because of my good conversation. I could also call yourself NYC Siren. <laughs> Funny one. Lawrence is like very creative here, I'm seeing, because he's come up with a lot of names today. Lawrence might be a writer in his past life. <laughs> Temptress. Dave B wants me to go over the QCOM call. Dave B, when are you going to start trading? Actually, I was in this here. Right in here, I was in it. And then I added more in here. I don't even know what minute it was. I took it. Southern Bell Trader. I'm not from the South. You people are funny. This is going to break the low of the day. It's just 25 cent, 20 cents from doing it. You're a writer in this life, just not published. Excellent. Three times it's exactly hit 98. It's broken through at the line edge. You and Brett should get together now. You're sweating bullets. <laughs> and no one should be sweating a bullet in this. You're up on the trade from the original entry unless you just retook it, in which case if you retook it, you shouldn't risk the entire amount that you made in the first trade if you got all out. Man, this is going to... 62.50. Wow. <laughs> Cucumber is going to break the low of the day, and after it does, it'll go right down to 63, and after it gets to 63, it should break 63, and wherever it breaks there, I'm all out. I don't need to stay in this to 62. I don't need to stay in this to 62.50, but I do know that when this breaks the low of the day, it's not going to just break it by five pennies, and the low of the day is 75, I think, or 74. But if you have a belief system that you think stops work against you, that people see your stops or the market makers are against you, that all of that belief system that people has is anti to you actually becoming successful. We're in these trades so aggressively nobody can see anything that we're doing or they don't even care. The people that are doing stuff like that are concerned with traders that are actually not trading like we are. Why? We're trading like professionals. You're a professional trader when you're taking an entry with me at 931, 934, 935, 933, 942. You're, it's a professional. Most people shy away from this time frame and don't do anything after 10 o'clock. And no one cares about what anyone's doing before that time. And we're in. We're in and we're out and we're up and we're done half the time. So it's like we really are part of what's going on in here with the professionals that are trading large money, which, again, is why you need to know what you're doing and why you have to take the class before you trade live. But the point is that we don't have to contend with any of that. You want to eat, but you keep looking at this trade and you want to punish yourself by watching it go to 63. Why? Because you got all out? You have to punish yourself. You can take it right here again. <clears throat> Right, you have to have a belief system that stops are good for you. I believe stops are good for me, and I use them all the time, and I always have, and they help me. They help me not lose too much. They help me feel protected so I can take the trade and not have to feel like I'm sitting here with my hand to the button every second, which would never go off fast enough to kill something before it flips, even as fast as I am, okay? Lawrence, you could do small size. Most of the educators say the start of the day are the amateurs and the end of the day are the professionals. Well, I don't know. I guess I'll have to take your word for it, Dave. Is that what most, most people say? <laughs> I wouldn't know. I know very few people are trading on the one-minute chart the way I am between 9.30 and 10 with this high level of accuracy. But the interesting thing is I find the most level of accuracy I have is within this time frame. 
I can predict the most level of accuracy in this time frame, that time frame, more than any other time frame that exists on the day. Because the stuff that happens in that time frame is so perfect. The numbers, everything, the just everything about it coincides. It's, it's perfection. It's what I call perfect. Nothing outside of that time of the day is perfect. It's very few exceptions. Something that opens and swooshes. Or if you get the market with your power training all day, but it has nothing to do with the stock, and you would know that until after 10 o'clock. So it's, you know, perfection exists within that time period and no other time period in the day on a consistent level, and that's why we're able to trade it so well. If the perfection that happens in that time frame wasn't there, I would never be able to call this so accurately in so many different stocks for so many trains for so many years. So there's only that, that time frame has an accuracy level that is advanced to understand, but it is the only time frame that has that level of perfection, which allows for the consistency for us. All right, have a good breakfast, Lawrence. Okay, let's see here. So the spry just broke the low. 10.43, the Qs did not. Let's see what's going to happen. We're in part of the Q come still. And let's look at the Yahoo. No, Yahoo's done. Yahoo is dunner, dunner, dunner. And actually, Baba just set up again. But Yahoo's done. So Q come is working out amazingly well. And the market, who knows here? It's very interesting. Let me just see when the last uh, number was. Ten thirty. So market's just falling here of its own accord. Last number was fifteen minutes ago. All right. Anyone have any questions about QCOM? Do you know where you're going? This? You know what you're doing? I think I'm just going to let everybody go. I'm not looking over the stuff for tonight because I don't want to jinx us because I did it the last two nights and dreamed and dreamed and dreamed of things that never worked in our favor and we never played them. We didn't do anything with them. Today was actually just all skill by me. Uh, this was not an easy day. This could have turned out way differently. I'm really glad we did this. I knew I had to be on my game. It all worked out. So good job, everybody that did this with me. Nice trade here in QCOM, and this is still going to go. And I'm really happy I still have half this. And it's really almost sucking me into wanting to take more. <laughs> but it's so far past my original price that that would be silly. <laughs> Do I still have conviction? I have conviction it goes to 63 and breaks it. Wherever it goes from there, I don't even care. Whether it goes to 62.75 or 62.60 or 62.50 or 62.10 or 62, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't. This is such a nice day because I know it's going to break the low. And I still have half of it. So basically, and I did the ad. I was very aggressive in this today. So, I mean, honestly, 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 I don't know if exactly goes to 62 or 62.50. I do know that once it breaks the low, it will go to 63. And I think the force of that push will make it drop through 63. It depends on the time of the day when it hits it exactly, whether it's 11 o'clock or 11.15. If it happens to be at one of those reversal times, it might actually bounce at some number. Again, these are areas. It could bounce at 62.69, 62.62 and get very close to 62.50. When this bounces today, it will really bounce back. There are people now that are shorting this because the market's red and they see QCOM that looked at it after 10 o'clock and they shorted it on the five minute chart. And that's why it's holding and the 15 minute. So traders that did not short this in the morning aggressively like we did now are shorting QCOM because they're looking for stuff to do. And they may not have shorted anything in the morning because they wanted to see what the market was going to do. And they're seeing the market red and now they're looking for stuff that's down and holding and still as target, which QCOM does. So this will continue. So with a push of some shorts and some more sell-off in here, this could really get to 62. I don't know if I'll be in it till then. I doubt it. You're welcome, Tony. Something else I was going to say, and I forget what. Don't forget what I said today about conviction. You are lost without it. You're lost without it. 
you are lost without it in a sea of traders and people and fear and risk in a place where you're risking your own money trading you are lost without it if you don't know what that feels like then you got to learn it from me but it is a feeling that you feel yourself and you have to hold the conviction no matter what you do if you lose the conviction kill the trade and don't take it okay but i will say that this is what makes the market because seeing all of this activity in here is giving people conviction the market really, 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 really is going to crash. And I'm telling you it's not. And I'm telling you that because the chart is fine. I'm not guessing. I'm not guessing a thing. I'm saying there's nothing wrong with this chart here. The chart is bullish. That's how I know. I'm just reading it. And we didn't break the low in here again. And I'm not saying we do or not. All I know is we closed strong today. So you could have reshorted this. You can't reshort this. And you can't even reshort this in the 15 minute. This is really, really done. Uh, that was a nice call. You could have done them both. But this is going to pay me. Gapper Queen. <laughs> All right. All right. Have a wonderful day. Good luck in the QCOM. We'll see where it goes. Not that it even matters. This does have to break the low in here. It's getting into 11 o'clock. We'll see what it does, but you could be patient. We'll look at the market tomorrow. I'll do a video tonight. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Uh, we're putting it all out there. We get a really easy peasy one tomorrow. This ended up being easy because I played it very skillfully, but it really wasn't. <laughs> uh, when, I, when I say easy, I want, I, go, I want just something to fall into my lap tomorrow. So we'll see what we get. But I'm not looking at anything tonight. In fact, after today, I'm just going to not look at charts for like the next 24 hours. <laughs> All right. Have a good day, everyone. Try your new names out tomorrow. QCOM through the low. Man, I could have just taken more. Why didn't I do that? This would have really, really, really got my price down, though. I still had so much target in it, though. All right, have a good day, everyone. I'll see you later. Bye.